On November 9th, astronomers captured images that should have been impossible. The interstellar object, 3I Atlas, was displaying jets of material stretching millions of kilometers into space. To put this in perspective, the distance from Earth to the Moon is about 400,000 kilometers. These jets are over seven times that distance. We're talking about streams of matter extending further than most people can even conceptualize. Most comets have a single tail pointing away from the sun, pushed backward by solar wind, traveling at over 800,000 miles per hour. The 3I Atlas has jets pointing toward the sun, pushing against this incredible force. For these anti-tails to maintain their structure over such vast distances, they must be extraordinarily dense and powerful. This alone would be remarkable, but it's just the beginning of this object's impossible behavior. When the Hubble Space Telescope observed 3I Atlas in July, it captured a small glowing cloud around the object. The jets we're seeing now in November are 3,000 times larger than what Hubble observed just months earlier. This represents one of the most rapid and massive changes ever documented in a celestial object. The scale of this transformation is unprecedented in astronomical observations. Now, before you start thinking this might be some kind of alien technology, let me explain that we have seen similar behavior before, just never to this extreme. In 1992, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 provided a spectacular example of what happens when a comet fragments. After passing too close to Jupiter, the planet's immense gravity literally tore it into 21 pieces. When these fragments collided with Jupiter in July 1994, they created explosions visible from Earth, leaving impact scars larger than our entire planet that remained visible for months. Another notable event was the 2007 outburst of Comet Holmes, which suddenly brightened and formed a massive expanding cloud of dust and gas. By November 2007, its coma had grown to a diameter larger than the Sun itself. Both of these events resulted from natural comets breaking apart, and it's entirely possible that 3I Atlas is undergoing a similar fragmentation process. But here's where the story takes a turn that has astrophysicists genuinely puzzled. Avi Loeb's calculations reveal something that shouldn't be mathematically possible. Based on the amount of material being ejected from 3I Atlas, the object is losing approximately 50 billion tons of mass per month. Think about that number for a moment. 50 billion tons. Every single month, scientists have estimated the total mass of 3I Atlas by tracking its trajectory and analyzing how the sun's gravity affects its path. Their calculations suggest the entire object weighs around 33 billion tons. Do you see the problem here? The object appears to be losing more mass per month than its total estimated weight. This is like watching a 200-pound person lose 300 pounds in a month and somehow still exist. This seemingly impossible scenario does have a precedent, though. When Shoemaker-Levy 9 fragmented, the total material released was far greater than initial estimates of the original comet's mass. The explanation lies in the physics of fragmentation. When the sun heats an icy body, the uneven heating between the sun-facing side and the cold side creates enormous internal stress. This stress can cause the object to shatter into hundreds or even thousands of pieces. Here's the crucial part. When an object fragments, the resulting smaller pieces expose a much larger total surface area to the sun's heat. This dramatically increases the rate of melting and outgassing. If the 3I atlas has indeed broken into numerous fragments, the combined jets from all these pieces could theoretically account for the enormous amount of material we're observing. However, and this is important, we haven't yet confirmed that 3I atlas has actually fragmented. The mystery deepens when we examine the object's trajectory through our solar system. The 3I Atlas is traveling in what astronomers call a retrograde orbit. If you were to look down on our solar system from above the North Pole, you'd see all the planets orbiting the Sun in a counterclockwise direction. The 3I Atlas is moving clockwise, directly against the flow of everything else in our solar system. Only about 1-2% to of celestial objects exhibit this unusual behavior. Even more intriguing is that its path is almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk on which all the planets orbit. Most interstellar objects approach our solar system from random angles, either from above or below this plane. The probability of such precise alignment occurring by pure chance is estimated at about 0.2%, or roughly 1 in 500. While not impossible, it's certainly unusual enough to raise eyebrows in the astronomical community. 
This isn't the first time an interstellar visitor has displayed characteristics that challenge our understanding. In 2017, we detected Oumuamua, an object with its own set of puzzling traits. Its highly elongated, pancake-like shape and strange tumbling motion were unlike anything we'd seen before. Most notably, Oumuamua accelerated as it left our solar system in a way that couldn't be easily explained by normal cometary outgassing. This unusual acceleration led Avi Loeb to propose that Oumuamua might be an artificial object, perhaps a light sail designed to be pushed by sunlight. While most astronomers believe Oumuamua was likely a unique type of comet composed of hydrogen or nitrogen ice, the debate continues to this day. The scientific community remains divided on the true nature of our first confirmed interstellar visitor. There's a crucial difference between Oumuamua and 3i Atlas, though, and it's one that makes the current situation even more significant. Oumuamua was relatively small, perhaps a few hundred feet in length. In contrast, the 3i Atlas is absolutely massive, over a mile wide and weighing billions of tons. An object of this magnitude displaying such unusual orbital characteristics and impossible mass loss rates represents a far more significant astronomical puzzle. The implications of what we're observing with 3i Atlas extend far beyond simple curiosity about an unusual comet. If this object is indeed losing mass at the rate calculations suggest, it's challenging our fundamental understanding of how matter behaves in the vacuum of space. The laws of physics as we currently understand them simply don't allow for an object to lose more mass than it contains while continuing to exist and maintain structural integrity. Some researchers are beginning to ask uncomfortable questions about what we're really looking at. When an object defies the basic principles of mass conservation, when it travels in a trajectory that has less than a half percent chance of occurring naturally, and when it displays behavior that we've never documented before, we have to consider all possibilities, even the ones that make us uncomfortable. The elephant in the room, the question that many scientists whisper about but few are willing to discuss publicly, is whether the 3i atlas could be artificial in origin. Now, before you dismiss this as science fiction, consider that we're already dealing with an object that appears to violate the laws of physics as we understand them. At what point do we acknowledge that our current models might be incomplete? Avi Loeb, the Harvard astrophysicist who first proposed that Oumuamua might be artificial, has been analyzing the data from 3i Atlas with the same rigorous scientific approach. His calculations aren't based on speculation or wishful thinking, they're based on observable data, mathematical analysis, and the uncomfortable reality that this object is doing things that natural objects shouldn't be able to do. Let's examine what an artificial explanation might look like, not because we're abandoning scientific rigor, but because good science requires us to consider all hypotheses that fit the observed data. If 3i Atlas were some kind of manufactured object, perhaps a probe or vessel from another civilization, it might explain several of its unusual characteristics simultaneously. An artificial object could potentially have internal mechanisms that allow it to eject material at rates that seem impossible for a natural body. Advanced technology might enable controlled fragmentation or the release of stored materials in ways that our current understanding of cometary physics can't account for. The precise orbital alignment could be intentional rather than coincidental, suggesting a design trajectory rather than random chance. But here's the critical point, and this is where scientific integrity becomes paramount. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. While the behavior of 3i Atlas is certainly extraordinary, we need to exhaust all natural explanations before seriously considering artificial ones. The scientific method demands that we follow the evidence wherever it leads, but it also requires us to be extremely cautious about jumping to conclusions that would fundamentally alter our understanding of our place in the universe. So what are the natural explanations that could account for what we're observing? The fragmentation hypothesis remains the most plausible conventional explanation. If the 3i atlas has broken into numerous pieces, each fragment would create its own jets of gas and dust as it's heated by the sun. The combined effect of hundreds or thousands of fragments could theoretically produce the massive outgassing we're witnessing. The challenge with this explanation is that we haven't directly observed the fragmentation. Our telescopes should be able to detect multiple objects if the 3i atlas had broken into large pieces, but so far we're not seeing clear evidence of this. It's possible that the fragments are too small to resolve individually, or that they're obscured by the massive clouds of gas and dust being ejected. Another possibility involves the composition of the object itself. 
Most comets are composed primarily of water ice mixed with dust and rocky material. But what if 3i Atlas is made of something different? What if it contains exotic ices that we rarely encounter, materials that sublimate at different rates or under different conditions than we typically expect? Some researchers have proposed that the object might contain significant amounts of carbon monoxide ice or other volatile compounds that could produce more vigorous outgassing than water ice alone. These materials could potentially explain the massive jets we're observing, though they still wouldn't fully resolve the mass loss paradox. There's also the possibility that we're fundamentally misunderstanding the object's mass. Our calculations are based on gravitational effects and trajectory analysis, but these methods have inherent uncertainties. If the 3i atlas is significantly more massive than we've estimated, or if its internal structure is radically different from what we assume, our mass loss calculations could be incorrect. However, even accounting for potential errors in our mass estimates, the scale of material being ejected remains unprecedented. We're not talking about small discrepancies that could be explained by measurement uncertainty. We're looking at differences of orders of magnitude that challenge our basic understanding of how these objects behave. The retrograde orbit presents its own set of puzzles. While unusual, retrograde orbits can occur naturally through various mechanisms. Gravitational interactions with other stars during the object's journey through interstellar space could have altered its trajectory. Close encounters with planets and other solar systems might have flipped its orbital orientation before it arrived in our neighborhood. But the combination of retrograde motion and precise ecliptic alignment is what makes astronomers take notice. Each unusual characteristic on its own might be explained by natural processes, but when multiple rare features occur together in the same object, the probability of coincidence becomes vanishingly small. This is where the scientific process becomes both fascinating and frustrating. We're dealing with an object that challenges multiple aspects of our understanding simultaneously. It's not just one anomaly that we need to explain, but a constellation of unusual behaviors that seem to defy conventional explanation. The broader implications of 3i Atlas extend far beyond this single object. If we're witnessing new physics in action, if there are processes occurring in interstellar space that we don't yet understand, this discovery could revolutionize our knowledge of how matter behaves in the cosmic environment. The universe might be far stranger and more complex than our current models suggest. Consider the possibility that interstellar objects regularly undergo processes that we've never observed before. The 3i atlas might not be unique in its behavior, but rather the first example we've been able to study in detail. Our solar system receives interstellar visitors regularly, but most pass through undetected or are discovered too late for comprehensive observation. The detection capabilities that allowed us to spot and track 3i Atlas are relatively recent developments in astronomy. Advanced survey telescopes and improved detection algorithms are revealing objects that would have gone completely unnoticed just a few decades ago. We might be entering an era where we discover that the universe is populated by objects displaying behaviors we never imagined possible. This raises profound questions about our understanding of the cosmos. How many other interstellar objects are out there exhibiting impossible physics? How many have passed through our solar system undetected, carrying secrets about processes we don't yet comprehend? The more we learn about objects like the 3i Atlas and Oumuamua, the more we realize how much we still don't know. The scientific community's response to these discoveries has been mixed. Conservative astronomers prefer to focus on conventional explanations, arguing that we should exhaust all natural possibilities before considering more exotic scenarios. Progressive researchers contend that we need to be open to revolutionary discoveries that might fundamentally change our understanding of physics and our place in the universe. Both approaches have merit, and both are necessary for good science. We need skeptics who demand rigorous proof and exhaust conventional explanations. We also need visionaries who are willing to consider possibilities that might seem impossible based on our current knowledge. The tension between these perspectives drives scientific progress and ensures that we don't miss important discoveries due to preconceived notions. Right now, telescopes around the world are tracking 3i Atlas, gathering data that could resolve these mysteries or deepen them even further. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unprecedented infrared capabilities, is providing detailed spectroscopic analysis of the object's composition and the materials being ejected in those massive jets. Ground-based observatories are monitoring the object's brightness, trajectory, and structural changes on a daily basis. Every piece of data we collect brings us closer to understanding what we're really looking at. But here's what's fascinating about the scientific process. 
Sometimes, the more we learn, the more mysterious an object becomes. Recent observations have revealed additional puzzling details about the three-eye atlas. The jets aren't constant in their intensity or direction. They appear to pulse and vary in ways that suggest complex internal processes are occurring. Natural comets can display variable activity as different regions of their surface are exposed to sunlight during rotation, but the scale and pattern of variation in 3i Atlas exceeds anything we've documented before. Spectroscopic analysis of the ejected material is revealing an unusual composition. While we're detecting the expected water vapor and dust that characterize normal comets, there are also signatures of materials that are less common in typical cometary bodies. Some of these compounds could explain the vigorous outgassing, but they raise new questions about where this object originated and what processes shaped its formation. The trajectory analysis continues to refine our understanding of where 3i Atlas came from and where it's heading. Tracing its path backward through space, astronomers are trying to identify its stellar origin. Unlike Oumuamua, which appeared to come from the general direction of the constellation Lyra, 3i Atlas seems to have originated from a region of space that doesn't contain any obvious stellar candidates for its birthplace. If we can't identify a plausible stellar system where this object could have formed naturally, we're left with even more questions about its origins. Did it travel much farther than we initially calculated? Did it originate in a stellar system that we haven't yet identified? Or are we looking at something that formed through processes we don't yet understand? Share your thoughts in the comments section. We always look forward to hearing more from you. Thanks for spending your time with us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll be the first to catch our next adventure. Your support truly means the world, wishing you a wonderful day ahead. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. You'll leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us remember to subscribe for more. And like to help us remember to subscribe for more.